He did like idolatry. He still did it, but he knew that he hearing over and over again how he is the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You see? The law. He is the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's who he's the power of. Abraham, who had a son named Isaac, who had a son named Jacob, who became the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel. <coughs> Drop down to verse 13. <coughs> so I have raised him up in righteousness and I will direct all his ways. He shall build my city and he shall let go my captives. <coughs> Not for price. Ain't nobody going to buy us out of this captivity. No reward, said the most high power host. Man. Straight up. And you know, the righteousness that he dealt with with Cyrus is him doing exactly what the most high told him to do. Here, Danny, but you know, uh, you had those that were even in his kingdom, wicked, you know, that went to our uh, taxes and say, hey, man, don't let them Israelites keep building that tower, man, and that city, man, they're going to be against us. They ain't going to follow nothing that you say to do. And so, therefore, you know, it caused, you know, us to stop building the temple. But you see, Cyrus of danger. Um, that's what he's saying. He said, you're going to build my city. And he shall let go my captives. Not for price or reward. <coughs> I said, the most high power of hopes. Look at Mark, the first chapter. Excuse me. Mark, the first chapter. Verse 23. <clears throat> Just one. 